Yo, 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 what up, YouTube? It's your boy GTS Ghost, and welcome back to another video. And today we got Madden franchise rebuild. Today we're gonna be doing find the Panthers. I'm gonna be trying to solve all the problems. You're gonna get it, we're gonna get the B, we're gonna get it solved. But yeah, hope you all enjoy, man. Then so let's again, these rebuilds I'm gonna do, they're like, I'd say they're like in between. Like, there's gonna be, I'd say they're more like on the fictional side. They're not a realistic type of rebuild. But yeah, man, we're gonna hop right into it. I'll catch y'all at the Super Bowl work. All right, Matt Rule has been fired, and it's time for Playboy Party. Take in, and this is, where, this is where I come in at. This is where we take advantage of this, and we go crazy. So, looking at this, um, what I'm thinking about doing is more like, um, looking at this, I'm thinking about going more of an approach of, you do a year without a QB, and I go for O-lineman, because the Panthers O-line isn't really that great either, so I'm thinking maybe like Charles, Charles Cross, Kemal Kwanu or Evan Neal, whatever one's available, but definitely with our first pick, it's definitely gonna be left tackle. I was thinking, you know, I had in mind like maybe trade it for like Deshaun Watts or anything, but for now, I think as of now, we're not gonna get like Kenny Pickett. We're gonna go more of we'll rock out another year, and see how we do, and then next year is when we'll make a play for a quarterback. Yeah, so Kenny QB's out of the picture, so I think I'm going to go with more O line oriented. Yeah, so that's what we're gonna do. But first, we gotta take care of free agency and resigning our players. I'll probably have to let them walk because there's a stupid glitch in Madden, but you have it fixed for like multiple Maddens now. Where um late in the season, if you don't resign them, by the time you get to the resign players in the off season, they'll automatically want to leave no matter what you offer them, unless you like overpay them a lot. So some of them are gonna have to walk, but I'll try to get back the main ones I want to keep back. Yeah, I'll catch you at the resign players mark, and we'll see if any of them actually stays with us. All right, looking at players ready to negotiate with us, I think Stephon Gilmore definitely I'm just gonna let him walk at this point. Because he's 31 and he's only 92 overall. Dante Jackson is definitely someone I wouldn't mind bringing back. Don Reddick, I think I'm going to let have him walk. Like, Dante Jackson, he's only 26, so we could use a couple more years. Fine. But I think maybe contract around 30. Fine. Lower that bonus to, like, just exactly 30. Around that ballpark. So, like, 30. If he accepts this, probably not. So, he's going to test free agency. Definitely want to bring him back, though. So, I'm not going to franchise tag him. We'll just bring him back in free agency. Matt Paradis, 76 overall, 32, definitely not. Um, Kicker, I, we could just get one in the draft. That's nothing to worry about. Like, all these dudes are old. Cam Newton, he's gone. All these dudes, I guess, like, some that you might want to bring back is more like, um, looking at it, more like, I guess, like, Frankie Lou, if you want, like, Depth at that position. So I guess if anything, we could offer him like this contract. Probably accept. Oh, well, they're gonna accept. They're gonna go to free agency anyway. But yeah. So like maybe Frank Louvre will be bring back. Um, Ian Thomas perhaps. Cam Newton's gone though. But yeah, man. So no one to bring back so far. But we'll get them in free agency. So I'll catch on free agency and we'll start seeing who we want to get. All right, free agency time. Looking at this, we got money. So, yeah, like I said, Dante Jackson. Our receivers are fine as of now because we have uh, DJ Moore, obviously. We have uh, Robbie Robbie Anderson. And then we got uh, Terrence Marshall Jr. could also develop into some. We have, like, our corners. DJ Henderson is good. He's only 23, 76 overall, though. AJ Boye, he's up there in age, only 81 overall. So, I think Dante Jackson is definitely one of them to bring back because, really, he's young. And, I mean, like, really, why not from this money that he's asking? I don't see why we wouldn't. He'll get plenty more. So, Dante Jackson, I guess, if we want to, um, looking at a kicker. Um, looking at a kicker, uh, we could bring Zane Gonzalez back. Nothing. Kicker isn't that big of a deal. But we'll just bring him back. See if we get him on, actually, less money. No, we cheap out here. We cheap. Like, make exactly two people. Offer him 72. He'll probably wind up signing anyway. And then, yeah, outside line, outside line, right outside linebacker is fine, perfect. So with that middle linebacker, we can help on. So I wouldn't, I wouldn't mind bringing in like Leighton Van. That maybe do we bring on Reddick? I'm thinking maybe um Lane Vander. She's young, so not much. Of, I think. We could try to get him. I think Lane Vanderesh or um uh Jay Jayon Brown. 
wouldn't be an issue. So yeah, that's all for Leighton Vander Esch, the contract. See if he wants to sign with us. 94 wall for him. And like left outside linebacker, Hassan Reddick. I wouldn't mind bringing him back. He's going to want a lot of money. Could just offer him a contract and see if he, um, if he signs back. But see, it isn't the end of the road if he does if anything. Um, we could just, there'll be an opportunity where we can. I guess maybe if we want another linebacker, we could offer like Chris Barnes. He's someone who's great. So like if I could get him on like a three, have like a rotation of Barnes and Vander Esch, that'd be great. So we're, we're not offering him too much money. We're actually fifth in uh, voting, but it's just some to um add to our linebacker depth if he wants to come. Got that. So I'll catch y'all at the week two of free agency. We'll see if we get anyone. All right, so we got Dante Jackson back. We got Len, uh, Leighton Vander Esch. Then get Hassan Reddick. We got our kicker back. Chris Barnes said no. I mean, that's not that bad. So, like, outside, if we look at our picks, got to look at our picks here. I might have to, I have to, um, we have, you don't have a second. That's the thing, because we need an outside linebacker. So, maybe, like, make something happen. Get that, um, if we, AJ Boye, someone that could be on the move. Can I his contract? Maybe at maybe at the draft deadline or like during the draft night, he's someone to look out on and someone that we can move. So I guess right now, since might we could just put him on the trade block and see what like what teams are offering us. So yeah, Sam Darnold getting paid a lot of. I think I might release him and then re-sign him on a lesser contract. That's some definitely some definitely some we could do. Robbie Anderson, I'm fine with keep now. Um, AJ Boye, yeah. Could definitely add him to the block and see what he offers. Sam Darnold, I'm gonna offer, I'm gonna release him and then. Hold on, let me look. He's making because he's making a lot of money. So like, if we look like, I was gonna say like, I was gonna try to see if uh, like Mark we can get like Marcus Mariota. So I think, yeah. So for now, I think Sam Darnold is gonna get released and we'll restart and then I'll just sign him back. So we release Sam Darnold, gave up some money. And then maybe we'll, I'm going to look at the quarter, quarterback, so there might be someone else. So if we look at this, so I guess we do need a left outside linebacker, outside linebacker badly. Like Sam Darnold, I don't want to offer him that much. Like maybe, so maybe we could get him like on a, maybe I wouldn't mind bringing like James Winston for like a year. Uh, like he's out for it. Like, oh, uh, I've. Like two years, sixteen mil. Let's see if he accepts that. Making uh sixteen mil. Um, yeah. So maybe maybe it wasn't, but I should have looked at the contract. I forgot that it was um that we were at the end. I don't get why Chris Godwin doesn't get any offers right now like that. But like our tight end spot is like good for now. But I think if we wanted to, we could add. Like yeah, actually yeah. Let's bring Ian Thomas back. Um, yeah, let me do like a two year deal. I don't want anything crazy for him. So we got him on a two year deal. Hopefully he signs. Left outside linebackers. Like, I don't know. Say if we had, I guess, like Shaquem Griffin, we could, I guess, on a two year deal just for like now. So we'll see if we get him. But then, like, um, if like him, we could also offer him a deal. I don't want anything. Like 20. You're old, so I think I'm gonna lessen the contract on your part. Uh, older than is, yeah. So we'll see, we'll see if they accept that. And yeah, I'll catch y'all in week three, free agency, and we'll see what happens. All right, so we got we got uh Thomas back, and then now I just want to um private workouts. We're looking at this, I think it's gonna be, I guess, people that we know we're not gonna take, or like people that we could look at taking in the Later rounds, so if we have a third pick, so maybe like Nick Benito, Boye Mafe, and then maybe corner if we do Boye. So like, look at that, like Tariq uh, Woolen would be someone. So we could offer him that. We'll probably work at them because they could definitely be candidates. Actually, I'll make sure to um do that right now. I'm going to I'm gonna favorite them, so if they are available, we could actually take them. So at that, we do. 
Yo, boy, my face. He's got that. Sam Darnold still didn't sign. He probably has multiple other contracts, though, so that's probably why. Yeah, so sign free agents. We might have to just sign Sam Darnold to a contract for now. Look at this. Offered by the. Did you get Shaquem Griffin? I don't believe. Yeah, we didn't get Shaquem Griffin. We need an outside linebacker. So, what I'm going to do. So, Jamez Winston. I really don't want to bring back. Huh. Um. Why is it? Why are the Steelers offering him a contract? Oh, boy. Oh, boy. Um. Yeah, so I guess. I guess if we have to, since we're not even taking the quarterback, like, on, I guess, like, I, uh, I'd rather have. We could offer Jacoby Brissett when you, find, you're not going to accept it. I'll probably have to, we'll do, once, give him six mil. That's a lot for uh, so, mill. All right, we're gonna we're gonna have to offer him a two year contract. On, like something like this. Twelve mil should be in the ballpark. I I don't want to. We're only using him for a year. I ain't go Washington. So yeah, no, I'm not offering. Bro, I'm pretty. Then I might as well just pay him. Okay, we're gonna sign him for. Bro, all right, never mind. Washington's overpaying him, so we're not gonna be on that. I guess if anything, um. Oh, these keep bottom like this. I'm cool, but uh, put in that for Sam Darnold, and I guess we could also put in one for uh, Jacoby Brissett just to see if he signs. But I guess if anything, a last resort would be when you're. I don't even want to give him that much, like three point five. We'll see what happens with that. Um, oh, also the linebacker, I gotta do that because I guess worst case scenario. Um. I'm gonna actually by the way. I guess if we have to we could offer him another deal. Well oh, not enough. So like we actually really don't even need him, so I'll just leave that. So I'll catch all the draft and um I'll catch all the draft if nothing happens and yeah, so I'll catch all either next week we're at the draft. Alright, so we just made a trade. We needed a QB, so I'll wind up getting Marcus Mariota from the Steelers. AJ Boye, a fifth next year, and then a sixth this year. Uh, the fifth and sixth really isn't that much, but AJ Boye, really no one wanted him, and we really needed QB at least for a year. So we did wind it up picking up um, Marcus Mariota. Yeah, just thought I'd let y'all know we got Marcus Mariota, so our QB situation is done with that. Now I'll catch on the draft, and then actually, I'll catch you at the end of the draft, and we'll see what we take. All right, the draft is done. We didn't have that many picks, but. um. You know, we got some key pieces like Charles Cross. Got him. Definitely. That's a W. So for some reason, I don't know why, but in this draft class, he doesn't have hidden. So he is normal, which is an L. But, I mean, it is what it is. We got Tariq Woolen with our third round pick. Because we needed a corner because AJ Boye is gone. So he'll fill in that role. We got Ajay Sanders. And I'm probably going to move him to outside linebacker. Uh, so he could be that left outside linebacker that we need. Uh, we got Wondell Robinson just to be kind of like a Robbie Anderson replacement once that time comes. Maybe he'll be a replacement. And then we got Zamir White just in case because, like, who knows what we'll do with um Christian McCaffrey. So we got that. But, um, yeah, so other than that, it really wasn't that much that we did. But, yeah, so we didn't have that many picks. But um, it is what it is. And then next year, we'll be looking for our quarterback, whoever that is. If it's Don Watson. It's no, another player in the league, but um, yeah, so I'll catch y'all 
at the regular season mark and we'll get the show on the road all right so it is week one and then for this year for our goal kind of just to get four wins because i mean we're kind of in that stage of like we could be good but also at the same time we can't not we still need our quarterback but um yeah hopefully it all works out and big things will happen we definitely need to be in a keep our eye out on um quarterback because that is definitely something we need so whether that be deshaun watson or you know uh we gotta keep an open mind with that we gotta upgrade some players here and yeah so we yeah, we got studs like brian burns definitely studying him we got some good pieces to build around and it'll just it really comes down to just us finding that quarterback that could uh that could uh really um complement all these other pieces around him we got that yeah Christian McCaffrey should have a good year. Shouldn't get injured. We'll see. If he does get injured, that's tough because I don't know if he'll be sticking around or not. But we can take a look at like our roster before the game starts. And um, looking at our roster, we got Marcus Mariota at quarterback. There's more, our wide receivers aren't great, but they're also not bad. Like DJ Moore, stud. He's the great receiver. Robbie Anderson Jr. could definitely do do things when needed. And yeah, so left tackle, um, line and line is kind of tough. Besides cross, obviously, and Mo and Moten, but I mean, we're gonna have to deal with it. We'll fix it. We got um Brooks Jr. over here at strong safety. Corners should be fine. Yeah, I forgot. J you got J C Horn, Dante Jackson, C J Henderson. Definitely gonna be studs. Jeremy Chin. So our our secondary is pretty young. And good except for really Antoine Brooks Jr. We got Sanders playing left outside linebacker. We got Leighton Van Der Esch. We got Shaq Thompson. Then we got Shaq Thompson playing that right out, right outside linebacker spot. So definitely a lot of good, but also a lot of bad. But overall, should be we should do good. I expect this to overachieve, but I think next year if we get a quarterback, I think we could definitely become a playoff potential. Uh, playoff contenders so yeah we'll see how the season goes i'll catch out the mid-season mark and we'll see how we do all right so it's the middle of the season we're four and three which is actually i'm good definitely better than what i expected like the falcons are two and five that could definitely definitely could have been us but yeah we'll take a look and see how we're doing but first we got um players ready to negotiate brian burns definitely went back i'm on a five-year definitely I'm locked in for the future. DJ Moore, same thing with him. Lock uh, him up on a deal. That over with. They're going to be staying long term. Ben Gonzalez, I wouldn't mind bringing back. So I guess we offer him a uh, six million dollar deal. And yeah, Morgan Fox, one nine mil. If I could, how about eight mil? All right, he doesn't want to do that. But yeah, so doing good so far. Cam Newton's still on the team. Hey, I wonder what his contract is, but I don't even know on the team. So, got that. Yeah, man, we did. We're doing okay so far. We are four and three. So I mean, one loss and we're five hundred, and two losses and we're below five hundred. So yeah. So Lane Vanderash gave him a field general. Take a look at the stats. See how he's doing in overall. Like corners, upgrades on him. Um, he's more like. We'll keep him doing what he's doing. We'll keep him doing, man to man. Get him in that scheme. Keep him uh, doing what he's good at. Got that. Got a bunch of stuff here. See how Marcus Mariota is doing on his um first year with the team. That, and we gotta also look at Christian McCaffrey, see what he's doing. Five ten five. I don't know why we'd get plot, we could just keep it with that. Yeah, I'm expecting I expect at least decent numbers. At least decent numbers here. So, um, yeah, if we go look at that, the uh, stats and awards. You know, Hurts leading the QBs. Looking at it, Marcus Mariota, 11 touchdowns, 3 interceptions, 1,500 yards, so he's doing great. Rushing wise, Christian McCaffrey with 300, 4 touchdowns. All right, looks like Zamir White is actually getting a lot of the workload here. He has. 64 attempts, so he has 12 more than uh, McCaffrey. But it looks like our runner back room is actually all getting a lot of um, attempts. You got McCaffrey with 52. You got Zamir White leading the charge with 64. You got Chubba Hubbard with 51. 
It looks like they're all pulling their weight here. Christian McCaffrey going crazy as of now. Love to see that. Receiving wise, Robbie Anderson leading 415 yards with three touchdowns. We got Terrell Sm Harris Marshall Jr. with 380, three touchdowns, and then DJ Moore with 241 yards. Touchdown. So it looks like Robbie Anderson is leading that even core here. And you also got Tommy Tremble with 188 yards. No touchdowns. Uh, defensively, okay, Dante Jackson with three interceptions. Love that. You got Jeremy Chin with one. You got Antoine Brooks Jr. with one. Sack-wise, let me see the numbers. Brian Burns going crazy with seven sacks. You got Derek Brown with three. Lane Vander Esch with one and a half. Uh, Yedder Gross Matos with one and a half. You got Shaq Thompson with one. You got Bravion Roy with one. And you got Austin Larkin with one. Yeah, going crazy. Brian Burns leads us in tackles for loss with three. Tied with Lane Van Der Esch. Who leads us in tackles? Lane Van Der Esch and Shaq Thompson. They're tied. Um, how's Sanders? Sanders, 20 tackles. Okay. Okay, he's putting in that work. He's putting in that work. Solo tackles, Lane Van Der Esch and Shaq Thompson are tied. Look at this. Pass deflection is like six. Shaq Thompson leading us in catches allowed. Uh, any forced fumbles? No forced fumbles. All right, we're actually doing good. Okay, see if we can keep this up for the to uh to the playoffs. Cause um, I mean, our division seems kind of even. We got Saints with four and a, four and two. We got Panthers before us with four and three. You got the Bucks three and four and Falcons two and five. So I mean, it looks pretty balanced. So we'll see if we could hold it up and um beat the charge. So yeah. And shot the end season mark, and we'll see if we make the playoffs. All right, end of the season here is here. We actually snuck into the playoffs nine and eight. Okay, we got tied with the Bucks, bro. That Saints game helped us right there. We beat the Saints twenty eight to seventeen. They're ten and seven, so we snuck. We sneak into the playoffs. We'd love to see that. So we're playing the Dallas Cowboys, who are thirteen and four, I believe you said. That's not good, but um, yeah, I'm not expecting anything crazy from us. It was kind of a, uh, I'm actually surprised you got here. Cause like I said, I put our season goal to be four wins. Cause I didn't think we actually like, we're like in between. We're like good, but also the Q we're like a QB away. So I guess, I mean, you can make the argument that, yeah, we're good enough to get seven wins, but I thought Marcus Mariota wouldn't like really help us that much, but he's pulling his weight. So if you look at the awards or like the player stats, Mariota with 4,000 yards, 12 interceptions and 29 touchdowns, putting in that work. Rushing, Christian McCaffrey led us with 1,100 yards, 13 touchdowns. Going crazy, Chubba Hubbard with 408. It looks like Zamir White kind of faded out, I guess. I guess either Christian McCaffrey, I guess Christian McCaffrey got injured at some point, so then Zamir White carried the work workload. Because he only got, what, like four, six more? I think he was like, he was at 64, maybe. So like, yeah, like four more attempts. So yeah, he kind of faded out of the rotation, but receiving wise, no one broke a thousand. But wow, it was very close. We had three people put up eight hundred plus, and then you had a Christian McCaffrey with six. So yeah, so Robbie Anderson led us with eight hundred ninety nine, AJ Moore with eight thirty one, Harris Marshall with eight eleven. So everyone put in that work though. Love to see that. Offensively, see what happened. Jeremy Chin has four interceptions. Sam Franklin with three. Dante Jackson kind of cool. Dante Jackson cooled down. He only had three. C.J. Henderson with two. G.C. Horn with two. Curry Pride Jr. with two. Okay, so we're actually going crazy. Looking at sacks, Brian Burns going crazy. He had nine. Derek Brown with six. Getter Gross Matos with five. Three and a half for Leighton Van Der Esch. One and a half for Shaq Thompson. And Bravery and Roy with one. Tackles for loss. Who led us? Probably Brian. Yeah, Brian Burns led us. How is Sanders doing? Sanders. How oh, he's doing? All right, he had five tackles for loss, no sacks. Did I, you know. For um, third round, I think he put in that value. So, yeah, we're playing the Cowboys, man. And um, it's going to be tough. So, if we look at this, I don't even think we can look at the year. I mean, yeah, we can look at it. Um, Dak Prescott wins MVP. Got that. Jonathan Taylor, ninth. Okay. Coach of the year. I ain't up here. Tough. I'm um, looking at this. I don't have it. This. That was going to be tough. That's a rookie of the year. I don't have no one. Best QB. I'm going to be. Oh, 
Oh, Mario is there. Okay, cool, cool, cool. Best runner back. Ezekiel Elliott going crazy, but McCaffrey is third. Best receiver. Probably not going to have anyone since it was so, um, spread out. But wow. The lines went 2-15. and 15. Oh, That's that's unfortunate. That's that's very tough. D-line, Brian Burns up here. No Brian Burns. That's fortunate. Best linebacker. We got anyone up here? No. TB, we got to have someone up here. Come on, show me someone. Really no one here? That's tough. Best kicker, though. We, get, we did get best kicker, though. All right, but let's see. All right, it's time to go against the Cowboys to see if we could um go crazy first. I don't think we had any hidden development players. No, because Cross wasn't. Yeah, so that's tough. So, all right, let's see if we beat the Cowboys and move on to the Divisional. All right, we do lose to the Cowboys. Dang, it was close. We only lost by, only lost by two. That's unfortunate. Dang. What happened? All right, well, I mean, hey, we made it to the playoffs. That's a W. But, yeah, pretty much not, nothing happened after that. I'll catch up to the Super Bowl mark, and we'll see who wins the Super Bowl. All right, it was a uh, Chiefs versus, uh, not Chiefs, uh, Packers versus Colts Super Bowl, and Packers wound up winning. I'm guessing Aaron Rodgers is probably still on the team, so he probably won MVP. Oh, no, it's actually Rashawn Gary, but he's definitely on the team. But, yeah, so I'm fine with how our season ended. You know, we made it at least to the wild card, but we didn't get it done. But, I mean, we we almost won. We only lost by two points there, so, yeah. I'll catch y'all at the free agency mark because I don't think there's really anyone necessary that we need to re-sign. So yeah, I'll catch y'all at free agency and we'll see if we can make any big plays. Definitely need to strengthen that old line though. And we need a cute quarterback as well. All right, so I made a play. Got Deshaun Watson. I had to give up two first round picks and our second. So our only pick, uh, our first pick in the draft is going to be a third. But we needed a QB and I think Deshaun Watson will accomplish that and be the missing piece that we needed to elevate us to um, an actual playoff team and maybe... Perhaps advancing farther into the playoffs. So we got Deshaun Watson. No. Hey, this is a fantasy style rebuild. So it, it is with all the off field stuff ain't happening in this world. We're going to keep it as it is. We got this going. So we got Deshaun Watson. So now that we got Deshaun Watson, Marcus Mariota is definitely. We could keep him and just be a backup. But I think. I think I could sign someone. If it, since he's a backup and he's making four mil, I think we could get at least a second round pick in return for him. So I think I'm going to be looking for a team that really doesn't have a quarterback. Like, yeah, so maybe maybe this deal gets done. So the Marcus Mariota off to the Browns for a second. So we get that. So we'll have to get a backup quarterback. But our team's looking better now, and I think we definitely need to focus on that offensive position in the offensive line. So, yeah, free energy time, we can take a look at it. we got some money now. We can make some moves. And it's definitely going to be on the – Line, line, lineman, definitely need someone with that. So, like, center, Rodney Hudson, I wouldn't mind bringing in for a year. Especially since we got Deshaun Watson. So, this is, like, our commitment to making the playoffs. Trying to win it. So, definitely want to get all the help we can. So, he's 34. He could provide um help to our offensive line. For Rodney Hudson, offer him a deal. We need a left tackle's fine. We got Charles Cross. He's going to be goaded for years to come. And, yeah, so we just really need, like, center. We got golf career, Ronnie Hudson. And hopefully he comes. Could use, like, David DeCastro. Oh, he's 35, though. I don't know. 33, not 35. Um, could. Well, like, Solomon uh, Kindley. Wouldn't mind bringing him here on a two-year deal. Actually, since he's young anyway, I wouldn't even mind just giving him a, get that out of the way. We could offer him that, and I'll give him, well, like, still. See if he accepts that. And, yeah, so, pretty much, I think I'm not going to do anything now. We're going to look at uh putting our O-line in the draft as well. So, I'll catch out the draft. I might trade or release some people, depending on our salary cap situation. So... Yeah, I'll catch y'all at the end of the... Actually, I'll advance next week and then see if we get anyone. But after that, I'll catch y'all at the end of the draft. All right, it's so week two. We didn't get Kenley, but we did get Hudson, so that's a W. So, yeah, I'm going to catch y'all at the end of the draft. Probably going to just draft... We're going to draft O-line, obviously, helping that uh, department. So I'll catch y'all there, and we'll go crazy. See y'all at the end of the draft. All right, so I've made a slight adjustment, so we needed help. I'm kind of focusing my mindset on being all-in in this year. We went out and got our third receiver because I did release Robbie Anderson. 
Well, I didn't release him. I think I'm pretty sure I traded him for uh, Ken Lee, who's the dude I was trying to offer in free agency. And so I traded that. So we did get, we got T Higgins and we got a left tackle who I'll convert over to right tackle. And Moten, he was getting old. He had a big contract, so why not? And we needed a third receiver to, uh, to fit next to Terrace Marshall Jr. and DJ Moore. So we're getting help there. That's a W. So we're making moves. And with our mindset right now, it's to be all in. So, yeah, just wanted to update y'all on that trade. And, yeah, I'll catch you at the end of the draft. And you'll see who else I drafted. All right, so this is who I drafted. I drafted Antonio Bush with our second pick. And he'll be our right, go right guard. I got Cedric Royal. This to be a backup safety. We got Rob Rucker, um, who I drafted, who was a right tackle. We got Reggie Pierce. And then with the last pick, I got Larry Abraham, who could provide depth for that middle linebacker position. And yeah, pretty nothing really special. Um, this is more of just like depth at these positions. Like Antonio Bush, he's starting, he is hidden. Definitely need to upgrade that line. So that's what we did. But I think overall, our team should definitely be better. So if you look at it, look at it now definitely a big improvement from what it was so we got deshaun watson obviously runner backs are fine all on looks completely different we got hudson we got kinley playing guard we got cross there yeah a lot of good moves we got that we got t higgins terrace terrace marshall jr to lead that receiving core so this should be a w this year definitely making the playoffs we should at least buffed um buff these positions Cornerbacks are better than ever. Yeah, man, pretty much just depth at these positions. So I think we're in a good position to at least get as far as we did, if not even farther. Yeah, this is definitely, I'm not going in expecting a four-win season after this one. This is definitely playoffs. God, if we don't make the playoffs with this team, got good receivers, good runner backs, John Watson, good, decent enough O-line, not good yet. Cause, um, like not good. There's not fully developed, obviously, but, um, we got tight end and tremble. Defense is good. Lockdown corners. We got Brian Burns, obviously. And yeah, man. So I'm expecting big things from this team. And I'll catch y'all at the regular season mark and we'll get on the journey. All right, it's time to get this this um season on the road. Definitely, we should definitely make the playoffs. I'm expecting nothing less than that. First opponent, the Lions, they went two and twelve last year, so this should be easy. I don't know how much they improved, but it should be all right. It shouldn't be that tough. But um yeah, man, I'm expecting good things for this team. Can't wait to see how the half starts, but I swear, if, we, if we're down bad, I'm going to start crying, bro. I invested. We got rid of all our picks. Got T. Higgins. We're going all in. But, yeah, I'll catch out the midseason mark, and we'll see how we do. I'm, I'm hoping it's good. I'm hoping it's good. All right, so this is good. We're four, We're 5-2. and two. Definitely good. Definitely a W in what I expected. And it looks like, uh, looks like Stephon Gilmore went back to the Patriots. That's funny. Wow, we got blown out by the Packers. That's tough because they're the reigning champs. That's not a good matchup. We can see uh, how they're doing. That's funny. Stephon Gilmore went back to the Packers. Not the Patriots. Look at this. See how we doing. Sean Watson. Those picks is tough. Eight picks and only 12 touchdowns. That's tough. Has 1,700 yards. Christian McCaffrey going crazy. Three touchdowns, 600 yards. He's carrying all the weight. Got all that. Got that. T. Higgins leading us in yards with 350 or 309. No touchdowns. The other touchdowns are going to DJ Moore, but definitely, definitely going crazy. Going interceptions. Looks like Zach Thomas, Zach Thompson leads us with leads us with three. Vander Ash with one. Brooks with one. Horn with one. Sacks probably Burns, right? Yeah, Burns with five. Lane Vander Ash with three. Two and a half for Yetter Gross Matos. Zach Thompson with two. One and a half for Derek Brown. Davion Nixon is one. Seconds for loss. Brian Burns leads us for four. Yeah, man, we're doing good so far. Only I'm hoping we can stay like this. I'm hoping um Watson begins to pick it up, not throw as many interceptions, but it's looking good so far. Hopefully we could ride it out, but yes, we just got CJ Henderson back too. So yeah, that definitely should help us. Yeah, I'll catch you at the end of the season, Mark. And I'm hoping, I'm hoping we make the playoffs. I'm hoping. We're leading our division right now. We're 5-2. and two, Bucks 4-2. and two. Saints is down bad. Falcons 3-4. They're also down bad. Yeah, I'll catch you at the end of the season, Mark. And hopefully we make it. All right. So, we went 11-6, which is good. Made the playoffs. But we're going against an in-division opponent in the Buccaneers who are 10-7. That's tough. We didn't make the playoffs with 11-6. Well, 
made the playoffs for. We didn't. Uh, I was the Packers. They're freaking cracked out of their mind. That's why we didn't get the first seed. But um, yeah. So playoff rivals right here. It should be a good matchup. I'm hoping we win. I don't know how good they are because I wonder who's their QB. I'm guessing they drafted someone. But if we look at it, we can take a look at the stats real quick and see uh how we're doing. Actually, yeah, while we're at it, I want to look at the playoff schedule. All right, so it's gonna be tough. Definitely a tough game to start off with. They're ten and six, only one, one um, only that we're only they're only uh they have one more loss than us. But uh, yes, Watson didn't do that great passing wise. He only had thirty eight hundred yards. 29 touchdowns and 13 interceptions, so he did okay. But that passing yards kind of tough. Rushing McCaffrey with the same type of thing he did last year. 1,400 yards, leading all the backs. Seven touchdowns. He went crazy, but it was more spread with touchdowns. McCaffrey had seven. Hubbard had six. White had six. DJ Moore, wow, no 1,000 yard receiver, but we got DJ Moore with 900. Cheekins with 800. Temple was 700, Marshall was 600, so they're all pulling weight. Going crazy. Defensively, Zach Thompson with seven interceptions. Woo! Dante Jackson started to step it up. CJ Henderson and JC Horn st stepping it up too. Let us see that. Okay, Brian Burns with 12 and a half sacks. That's what we need right there. Love to see that. Also leaves us a tackle for loss. Yeah, man, we're going crazy. Hopefully, this will be a tough matchup, but I, I, I got trust in my guys. I got trust in my guys. Yeah, man. Hopefully we win. Catch y'all in the division. I'm praying. I'm hoping we win. I'm hoping we win. And we lose by three this time. So last year to this one by three. That is tough. Okay. I want to look at the look at the box score. I just want to see what happened. Why we lost? That's tough. Why did? Looking at the box score. Bro, we went crazy. Watson had it. I don't... Only 290 yards. Daquan Evans. Apparently, he's a stud. Rushing. McCaffrey didn't do much. How did we lose this? T. Higgins went off. I just... I don't know. How did we lose this? That's the real question. No sacks? That's tough. That was just a hard-fought game, I guess. And... Gonna pull it out. All right. Well, um, all that was it worth it just to get bounced on the same thing? That's tough. All right. We still got we still got like two more seasons to get it done. That's tough. That's tough. Bounce back though. Yeah, I'll catch you at the Super Bowl mark, and we'll see who wins the Super Bowl. All right. It was a Super Bowl rematch of the Chiefs versus Bucks. Bucks wound up losing ten to forty something, I believe. Yeah, 10 to 42. Bucks lost. Chiefs came back, went crazy. Yeah, man, we got to make something happen here because we're so close. We actually, that's tough though. But, um, yeah, definitely got a lot of people to sign. P. E. Higgins, definitely one of them. We have a lot of money, so that's a W. Jeremy Chin, also someone we want to bring back. Uh, Rodney Hudson, you're probably going to walk. Derrick Brown, definitely someone we want to bring back. Jack Thompson. He's 30. I think I'm going to let him walk. CJ Henderson would love to bring back. He's a young corner who's, um, he showed potential. Jettergross Matos. I don't, he's not bad. I think, I think it was a fine offer. Maybe even less, but, uh, yeah, so we should do better. We should do better. Definitely still need to improve that O-line, especially since we just lost our guard and, um, Great tackle, so definitely need to improve that. So hopefully there's some free agency. I'll catch y'all there. I'm going to go crazy. All right, so we got some money to spend. Got to get into it. Got to get in the books. Cross, I'm fine with keeping, starting. Keep starting because, I mean, he was our sixth round pick. He was our first overall pick with the sixth pick. So definitely don't want to not giving up on him that easily. Guard, Lincoln Tomlinson, just for a year. He is old, but I think definitely... Could at least improve, uh, provide depth if we do decide to sign a center or a left guard that's um even better than him. He could definitely serve those depth. So 
Definitely want to do that. Could offer Matt Hennessy a deal, but probably not going to happen. JC Treader is someone else who we could also offer a deal to. He'll, he'll probably sign, but the thing is, he's old. Like, right guard. We got, oh, Bush is fine. We're good on that. Right tackle, definitely something we need to improve on. Left end is fine. D tackle. I guess if we want to bring in a, um, like a D tackle. So, I wouldn't mind bringing in Javon Hargrave for you. Offer him a contract. Right end definitely needs improvement. Sanders, I think I'm fine with him starting. Linebackers, they're fine. I don't think there's really need any improvements that we need to make that with. Outside linebacker, though, I guess if we can, maybe on like a. I wouldn't mind bringing Shaq Thompson back on like a 15 year deal. If I can. I think that'd be awesome for you to get him back on that type of deal. I doubt it will sign, but it's definitely something we could offer. Um. Strong safety is something we definitely need to improve on. Like Ronnie Harrison Jr., I would not, I would love to have here. We could offer him a contract. Hopefully he signs. Yeah, man. Um, Hunter. Doesn't really matter. We could offer just 23 mil. So offer him a contract. But yeah, man, hopefully we get all the guys we want. If we do, I'll catch y'all there. But if not, I'll just catch y'all at the end of the draft. All right, so we did get the punter. We did get the center. We got Javon Hargrave, we got Tomlinson, didn't get Harrison Jr., we didn't get Hennessy, which is tough, and we did get Shaq Thompson back on a, a good deal, so yeah, definitely, with these with this draft, we definitely want to improve Olan, and I think I might even make a trade, because we don't have our first round pick, if we can, I'm definitely, I wouldn't mind moving a piece. Actually, no, I think it's fine. So, yeah, I'll catch y'all. We don't have any crazy picks, so it'll all be, like, borderline fringe O-line rookies, but definitely should help nonetheless. Definitely need right tackle and guard. You can just take a look right now. I think it's um right tackle and you know, we got, yeah, right, pretty much just right tackle. Right tackle, O-line isn't even really that big of an issue, so I guess if anything... Strong safety. Strong safety, we're adding like another re receiver that actually could be crazy and actually has potential to be the next superstar next to DJ Moore and T. Higgins. So yeah, catch y'all at the end of the draft and we'll see what we take. All right, the draft is over. We did get our players. So with the first pick, I got Nathan Allen. He's a 69 overall right tackle. He is hitting, which is a W. I wanted to address the strong safety position as early as I can. So I got Calvin Kerr, who, um, I don't think he'll be starting right away, but the, actually, he'll probably be our second string behind Royal. We got Laverius Farrell. Uh, pretty much just picked him because of the depth and um potential to be uh our third receiver. I doubt as of now he will, but definitely someone to keep your eye on for the future. Justin Burks just to bolster up that D tackle position because like Javon Hargrave he is old, so we can add a little bit more spice to that rotation. Todd Jones just as a uh as like a project piece. That we could build off of um build off of he he'll never obviously probably he'll never play but definitely just someone to have we got uh we drafted will mccann with the last pick who's a tight end just adds a little bit more depth to that position but definitely nothing crazy since it is the seventh round yeah man i'm hoping for big things again i think our online got better with that rookie we just got definitely should see improvement definitely yeah, I'll catch you at the regular season mark, and we'll begin the journey once again. All right, so week one, we got the Chargers. It'll be tough. Offense, I should, I want to see improvement by Watson. I think we got to get him going. Definitely want to see better yardage. Less interceptions would be great. He has the he has the receivers to accomplish that. These receivers ain't ain't trash. They go to receivers. So definitely, definitely should see improvement in that. If not, it's tough. It's tough. But yeah, man. Catch out the midseason mark. Hope for big, bigger things. If not, same things, but got to make it farther in the playoffs. That's the goal here. So, yeah, man. Catch out the midseason mark, and we'll see if there's any improvement. Okay, we're 2-5. and five. Yeah, that is not what we wanted to see. Why are we 2-5? and five? Oh. Yeah, that is as far from what I wanted to see here. So, uh. 
what is going on? If we look at the stats, why, why? What is happening? Boston is not having a good season, I guess. Caffrey doing half things here. Steving. I think we need to add a third receiver, a third superstar receiver. I don't think what we have now, I don't think we're going to get anything accomplished. Tough. Have to add a third receiver to this team. So I think we go out and do that. Gotta add a third star receiver. We're not getting like there's really not any that not that much pieces. Not as many pieces that we could think like Leighton Vander Esch. Maybe it's time for him to go. He's only 83 overall and he's 28. Maybe if we could get like a receiver. Hey. A receiver and a linebacker to pair up is tough. Kind of, I'm tempted to just go crazy here. We go crazy here and just get like, because we have DJ Moore. Oh, I'm thinking we do something like this. I doubt it will work, but. Gotta try. Never say never. If we offer, we could probably get this done. If I offer a fourth, fifth isn't gonna get it done. I'm gonna have to offer a third next year. But this might be, this could, this could make a break. This could definitely make a break. I think, I say like if you, we didn't want to do Judy, we could do like, we add like add like a good veteran receiver who's capable of like superstar superstar receiver who could get it done. Kinda this tempting, this tempting like but who would I like Eric Eric McLaurin would be perfect, but I don't. I don't think we we're not getting that unless I throw in up first. So I we need like like Devonte Adams. This will not get it done. But like say if I were to offer this, I'd have to throw in a first. Like, so well, our record is bad. So do we throw it away just for this? We're gonna get Devonte Adams, and then our. Thing is, is our linebacker position is gonna be not not the best. So we could offer if we did something like this. Who's their good linebacker? We're going like all in here, all in. So if we did this. This is not gonna work. Okay, if I were to, if I threw in a second. I'm probably, I might, I might have to throw in. No, I think if um this should get it this might get it done. Alright. And then risk it. Just throw it all the way. We're gonna do it. We're gonna do it. Alright. Now we're in the make or break situation. Alright, this is make or break situation here. So, hopefully, we could go all in here. This is tough. All right, so. Okay. All right. Hopefully, our outcome is better. We got a third superstar receiver to pair up. Like, on this, you can't tell me. On this, on this, it looks crazy. Right here, this team looks crazy. Got it. Monte Adams, DJ Moore, T. Higgins, Christian McCaffrey, Deshaun Watson. Like, I don't know what else more I could do. I'm just hoping that we could turn it around. But I, I, doubt, I doubt it. I think next season, I think next season is where it should turn around. But yeah, I'll catch you at the end of the season. I'm hoping for improvement. I'm hoping we just go undefeated for the rest of the season here.
We'll see what happens. I'll catch you at the end of the season. Okay, yeah, this is what I love to see. All right, we come back. We make the playoffs. We're in the wild card, baby. We're here. Did it. We're here. We're in the playoffs. But I think this is where this is. This is our, I'm telling it. We went all in. This is where it turns around. This is where we go crazy. If we look at the stats, I'm looking to see some crazy numbers here. Boston, did you improve at all? Uh, uh, <laughs> it's pretty much the same as uh, the first year we had him, so not that much improvement. McCaffrey, he's doing it all. Like McCaffrey, he's good. He's good. He's going crazy. Re receiving, but still no 1,000 yard receiver. Adams, he was five yards away, 995. DJ Moore, 900. McCaffrey. Why is Higgins not involved here? We gotta, all right, I gotta change the depth chart because something's great going on here. All right, this is improvement. We love to see this. Ryan Burns, another crazy season. Now we just need to keep it up and win playoff games this time. I'm looking at the depth chart because something's gotta be wrong here. I don't know why Harris Marshall Jr. is getting more involved than T. Higgins. So I'm guessing maybe he's because he's our slot receiver. Yeah, so that's got to change. So, honestly, out of these guys, who would I put in the slot? I think T. Higgins goes in the slot. Because he... I'd say DJ Moore. We'll have DJ... We'll have... um. We'll do this. I'd say we have DJ Moore in the slot. Higgins, who's a big body receiver in the outside. And same with Adams. Because if Adams has a route running, though, he'll be in the... um. Just have a lot of big body receivers, so I think I guess if anything, yeah, DJ Moore goes in the slot and we have Adams and Higgins on the outside. Yeah, man, open for a good playoff thing. I guess for this season, what I'm gonna do is um we're gonna go through the moments and see what happens. I'm hoping it works out, bro. I'm hoping. All right, so we're up, we're winning, we're good. So we're just gonna sim the whole game. But hopefully we win. I'm I'm hoping for a win. We close. This is. Low scoring game, but I mean, it's, it's second half, second quarter. Looks like we're going to run up the score. 20 to 6. Okay. You can't be stopped. Can't be stopped. Okay. Defense going crazy. Are we going to win? We're going to win. We're going to progress. 34 to 20. Nah, ain't no way to come back. All right. So we win. We finally win. We finally win a post a postseason game. That's a W. That's a W. We're going crazy. Our receivers did nothing. McCaffrey put the team on his back. Bro, 68, 68. Bro, that is crazy. All right, man. Making it to the divisional. I'll catch y'all there at that game. And we'll see if we can go crazy and keep this going. Super Bowl bound, baby. Super Bowl bound. All right, so now we got the Packers. It's going to be cold. It's going to be a tough game. It's going to be a tough game. But I got trust in the squad. I got trust in the squad. We're going to hop right into it, and hopefully it works out. So I'll catch y'all in there. Hopefully we go crazy. All right, hopefully we could go crazy. All right, I think it's going to be a close game. Two great teams. Matching up against each other. Hoping that we could win. Looking tough. Looking tough. Ooh. Looking tough. Ooh. Bro, we're going to lose the Jordan Love. going to put it in normal real quick. We're going to lose the Jordan Love, bro. All right, let's see what happens. Seven yard recession by Irving Smith Jr. All right, they're going crazy on us. Gotta get a stop. We gotta get a stop. Bro, we gotta get a stop here. Alright, it's not enough. Fourth down. No, it ain't. Oh my god. Alright, field goal. Down by nine. Oh, is this where we lose? Is this where we lose? Penalty. Come on, Antonio Bush. What is you doing? Double Hubbard for one receipt. Second and four. Okay, T. Higgins. Okay. Now, bro, we need nine points. Tommy Tremble, you're getting cut from the team, bro. Okay, Adams. Against his former team, too. Come on, we need a tutty. Ah. Oh. Oh, no. We're down by two. Down by two. I think we lose here. Yeah, that's game, sadly. All right, I can't be mad. We lost by two. We made the divisional. I don't know how we got outplayed by Jordan Love. I don't get, understand that. We got outplayed by Jordan Love. That's tough. That is tough. That, this was our chance. So we lose. 
We're going all in next season. I don't know how we didn't make it this season, but that's crazy. Yeah, man, I'll catch our free agency. We're going all in. We got to win this one, bro. We got to. All right, so Chiefs beat the Packers 38-10, to 10, bro. Packers need to chill out and let us do something, bro. We were so close. I'm, I can't believe that. We don't have any crazy free agents. Dante Adams, maybe. Dante Jackson. Yeah, we're going all in. We can use all the help we need. He wants to go to free agency. Well, I'm sorry, buddy, but it's one year, so you're staying. JC Cheddar, you're gone. Thompson, all these old dudes could go. JC Horn, he, I'm kind of mad. He hasn't really progressed at all. Like, Tommy Tremble also hasn't progressed really at all. That's tough. But, uh, Chubba Hubbard, I'm fine with letting you walk. Terrace Marshall Jr., since we have Adams, I think, I think that's fine to walk with. If anything, I think I might trade Adams. I think this is where I trade Adams. Unless he retired. He might have retired. I'm, I'm pretty sure he's on a one-year deal. I might trade Adams. Oh, no. Okay, so now we can get rid of him. I'm thinking what we do is trade Adams for a young, established receiver. And I'm thinking DK Metcalf. He's younger. Offers the same things that Adams offers. Pretty much. And I think... We'll be on a longer contract, so I think that'll definitely help. So, even though this is one year, I think he'll he'll have more of an impact than uh what Devonte Adams will have. So, I mean, I don't really care. I mean, I guess if if you're gonna give me anything, give me linemen because we need that. But it looks like their linemen suck. Yeah, I guess give me a pick. Call it a day. I'll throw, I'll even throw in a fifth. I'll throw in a fourth. What about just, like, 90? I think DK Metcalf would just be different. Maybe we just do a swap and call it a, we're going to have to throw a pick with it. Value DK for Adams. Like, I'll give you a third. Uh, they don't. I gave you third and a second next. But okay, what about two seconds next? Call it a day. Is that done deal? All right, done deal. All right, we got that done. We got our third receiver, Metcalf. I think he'll open up more opportunities for the other people. But once again, need center. Center, center, center. Need help at that position. Ryan Jackson, yes. I'll bring you back. I'll, yes, please, just sign with us. Final year, we need to go all in. I'm willing to overpay. Don't, don't tempt me. I'll overpay. Look at this. 102, come on. Bro, why are they paying you so much money? 14 mil. Actually, boost me up one spot. Uh, all right, not mil, not mil. Call it a day. Call it a day. Uh, all right. What about this? Nothing. Okay. Fine. Like I said, I got. We got money. We're going, bro. What? What do they offer you? Oh, come on, bro. You joking? 16 mil. Come on. Alright, he's off the table, sadly. Like, what? Could we use that could help us? Khalil Mack, I wouldn't mind bringing it. Ben McPherson, need a kicker. One year deal. Kept it. We need a draft. Do we. Like, I don't know, man. I said ETN. I wouldn't mind bringing in because he provides that speed that's needed. Offer him a contract. That's safety's on, I guess. That one's really good. Okay, I'll see y'all at the end of the draft, and hopefully we get these people that I offer contracts to, and hopefully we improve and actually make it to the Super Bowl. I gotta win the Super Bowl, bro. I gotta. All right, we're going all in. 
This is all. This is it. This is it. Last season. So I addressed the center position. Demarcus Dobbins. He's hidden, which is W. Left guard and Philip Collins. I'm pretty sure that. Logan Logan. He's hidden. He's 59 overall, but he is hidden. So that's a W in my books. Drafted strong safety. Rashawn Allen and then Khalil Carter. Just for depth purposes. But definitely, I think we got better though. Going all in. Tight end is an F. I don't know why. We still have Tommy Tremble. Yeah, man, this is fine. This is it. Last season. So I'll catch out the regu regular season mark and we'll get this thing on the road. All right, season goal. We got to manifest it. So season goal is to make the Super Bowl. That's it. That's all we got to do. Make the Super Bowl. Expect them big things, I hope. You know, we were going, we were doing, we were doing terrible last year, but then we picked it up. This year should definitely be better looking at the roster. Receivers, perfect. PK, DJ Moore, Higgins. O line, big good. Got pieces. Definitely should see improvement. Yeah, man. We're going to get this show on the road, and I'm hoping for good things. I'm hoping for better things. Yeah, I'll catch out the midseason mark. Hopefully, we go crazy and we actually win the Super Bowl this year. All right, we're 4 and 3, which isn't great, but I mean, hopefully, we can keep the ball rolling. Still, we still could go crazy, you know. We picked that's that's what happened last year. We were doing terrible. We we're like two and five, and then we wound up going like nine and eight. Yeah, man. Hopefully, hopefully we go crazy. Take a look at the stats. Sean Watson better have improved. Yes, love to see it. Throwing two interceptions. That's good. Seventeen hundred yards improvement. Love to see that. McCaffrey six hundred yards doing McCaffrey things. Even wise, Metcalf leads for four hundred and three touchdowns. Defensively. We got Zach Thompson with two. He's been carrying this defense. Sacks, probably Brian Burns. Brian Burns also been carrying. Sacks for loss, Derrick Brown. All right, we got to I'm expecting a crazy record. If we look at it, I think we're going crazy. Our offense is ranked number four. Love to see that. Our defense isn't that great, but uh, it ain't bad. It ain't the worst. So, yeah, man, we're in four and three. Hopefully, we... Hopefully, we make the playoffs, first of all, and hopefully, we go far in the playoffs. Yeah, I'll catch you at the end of the season, Mark, and hopefully, we in the playoffs. All right, we didn't make the playoffs. We ended up 8-9. and nine. Oh, that's tough. That's tough. I kind of want to I wanna do one more season. We got to make the playoffs. Ain't no way we ending it like that. Got to make the playoffs. So, we're going to do one season. One last season. Like, what is the issue? Like... Uh, it's just, it ain't it, it ain't it. So we'll do one more season. I'll catch y'all at free agency and we'll see who we get and whatnot. But there's got to be some improvements going on. All right, we need some serious help here. So Caffrey, I think it's time to move on for most of these players and invest. Like McCaffrey, oh, McCaffrey, I'll keep. Watson, I don't know. Well, McCaffrey's going to test off free agency because he's uh, a franchise tag loser. Uh, Dante Jackson, you're probably gone. Khalil Max is gone. Shaq Thompson gone. Charles Cross. I was signing back, but I'm kind of mad he hasn't really developed in there. Meta Gross. Or Gross Matos. So I wouldn't mind bringing back. Really not a lot of people that I love to bring back. So Watson and Watson, we're going to let walk. And we gotta find that QB, man. Then at the free agents, I hope there's a QB because this is tough. Alan Cooks here. I might sign. Honestly. Why offer John Watson a contract to come back? We'll do it. One last year. Do it. What are they offering this? I mean, uh, I think Deshaun Watson didn't do bad, so I guess. Yeah, it's fine to bring him back. This all depends on... So if we get him... Oh, wait, what? Can help on, that's the... I don't think there's really... 
I don't really see there being much that we need to really improve on. Besides defense, I guess. Like, if we were doing defense, what needs help? D tackle, definitely. Linebacker, definitely. So, outside linebacker. Corners, I feel like, are fine. They're just not progressing. Issue. Free safety, I feel like, is fine, but we could bring in, like, Daxon Hill as a second piece. If he wants to come over. Strong safety. I have a bunch of... Like, I don't know. I don't know what really we can improve on. So, I'll catch you at the, um... I'll catch you at the end of the draft and we'll see what improvements we make. See what uh, improvements we make. Alright, so we got everyone back. We got everyone except for Daxon Hill. So, yeah, pretty much advanced to the draft and... Yeah. Gotta improve. Gotta improve. Alright, we're all in. So, we got our outside linebacker because that's something we needed. We got... So we got Cordell Russell, we got Avery Conway, D tackle to buy depth to that position. We got Juan Suttle, who is a receiver. We got Jason Starks, who is an outside linebacker. We got a right tackle, we got a linebacker, we got a left tackle, we got a corner, right end, free safety. I don't think really all these people are just um feeling that we need help. We need help wherever whatever wherever we can get. We need help everywhere. So on paper, we're not a bad team, but apparently we are. So, yeah, man, I'll catch up the regular season, and I'm hoping we'll go crazy. I'm hoping. All right, it's all or nothing at this point. Got to win. So, I'm going to see if there's any free agents. I'm not going to make any moves. Keeping the team how it is. Hopefully, we could make something happen. So, I'm going to sign free agents that I feel like could help us. We need it. We need it. All these dudes on to the team. Austin agent. Give me him. Just for your backup, man. Hopefully we go crazy. So I'll catch out the midseason mark. And hopefully, I'm hoping we go crazy. I'm hoping. Alright, we're three and four, which is not great, but our division is kind of L. So hopefully and come back from this. I'm hoping because I'm a bro. I'm gonna start crying, bro. John Watson looks like he's doing good. His yes, this is what I like to see. But how are we three and four? Come on, man. Yeah, he's going crazy. McCaffrey doing McCaffrey things once again. DJ Moore, T. Higgins, Metcalf. Like, I don't understand what's the issue here. I guess defense is just holding us back because they're not that great. I guess if that's what you want to assume that our defense is what's holding us back. Like, because, like, look at this. We're th the third offensive rank. Yeah, our defense is just not it, I guess. But, man... Like, I don't know what to do, though. Like, what can we do to improve our defense? Um, whatever it is, we got to do it, like, now. So, looking at our roster, we can look at our defense. But well, I don't really see anywhere that could uh improve, I guess, like, safety. So, I guess. So, I just. Like, I don't think it's bad. So, I guess, like, D-tackle is what we want to improve on. I guess we could see if there's a tackle for agent, but um, besides that, I don't really think there's really anything that we can do to improve this team. Like we bring Javon Hargrave back on a deal, on a one-year deal, get that going. So yeah, man, I'll catch up at the end of the season. Hopefully, hopefully we come back from three and four, like we did before. Hoping for big things. I'm hoping. A man could dream. A man could dream. Yeah, man. I'll catch you at the end of the season. I, and I hope. Hoping. Hope we sneak into the playoffs. That's it. So, I'll catch you at the end of the season. All right. So, we missed the playoffs. We're just stuck in 8 and 9. Uh, Stuck in 8 and 9 forever. So, it looks like Deshaun Watson bought out. But, apparently, it wasn't enough. But he threw 20 interceptions. Like, what? 20 interceptions. Oh, yeah. These rebuilds ain't looking too hot, bro. I'm telling you. Oh my gosh. Yeah, it's tough. It's tough out here. It's tough out here. Down bad. Down bad. Oh, we didn't get it done. 2026. Still couldn't get it done. Four years. No Super Bowl. Farthest we made it was the divisional. But it's because the Packers were cracked with Jordan Love. They were cracked with Jordan Love. So we really. And then Falcons just switched, flipped the switch. They went crazy. 
Buccaneers just had a great QB and he they went crazy. But it's tough out here. It's tough out here. But man, hope y'all enjoyed the video, man. He ain't getting nowhere though. But um, we get to the Super Bowl at one point. One of these rebuilds is is getting there. Yeah, man. Okay, I'll talk to y'all later, man. Hope y'all enjoyed the rebuild, and I'm out. Peace.